words, the importance of words. Here's NBC's Bob Dotson. The old warriors of the West have one last battle to fight. And only a few who remember how. I'm the older. Of the Kiowa Indians. At 101, Parker McKenzie is still struggling to save their tribal language. I'm the only one left now. Who remembers it all. I could keep you all morning. In 1897, just before the Kiowas got new neighbors. Settlers coming in and covered wagon, looking for wild Kiowa. What do you think is the best thing that's happened in this century? When I got to me like an ordinary white man. <laughs> but Mackenzie is determined to help all of us understand the Kiowa language. Hey, Hogga, Edward, right now, that's what that means. Hey, Hogga, hey, Hogga. He designed a system of phonetics which translates Kiowa into English. It's English. Mackenzie started all this at a time when Native American children could get their mouths washed out with soap for speaking their own language. Teachers wanted them to speak only English. Soon the children could not understand the stories the elders told. With each passing generation, the Kiowa's rich oral history was fading away. So Mackenzie began compiling a dictionary, the Kiowa's first written language. How many words? 10,000. In his first book, 80 years ago, he's still adding more. Now it's about one word an hour. 492 new words just this year. But like drums and feathers, the Kiowa language seems a thing of the past. None of Mackenzie's 19 children and grandchildren speaks the Kiowa language. After all your work, does that make you feel sad? Yeah. I don't care. But others do. Mackenzie, a lifelong clerk and typist, was awarded an honorary doctorate for his dictionaries. Because of him, the Kiowa's words will be there for everyone, for all centuries. Bob Dotson, NBC News, Mountain View, Oklahoma.